we are on a collision course with our nearest large galaxy, the Andromeda Galaxy. Our galaxy is the Milky Way. We've, we've got several hundred billion stars. Do you know there is only one galaxy which appears visible in the night sky? A galaxy that has revealed to us as much about the universe as it has about itself. It's Andromeda Galaxy. This galaxy told us that the universe isn't revolved around Earth. It showed that the Milky Way isn't the only galaxy and that we might be quite small in the grand universe. We've learned a lot about Andromeda in the last century, mostly from Earth. But now, with powerful satellite like the James Webb Space Telescope, we're learning even more. Surprisingly, this telescope has revealed things about Andromeda that we didn't expect. In today's episode, we will delve into the new revelation about Andromeda Galaxy and its surprising reality. This is Reveal the Mystery. If you are curious to learn mysteries of the world, space and beyond, consider subscribing. A little over a hundred years ago, people saw the Milky Way as a faint strip of light in the night sky. As time went on, scientists got better at studying space. In the 1920s, a scientist named Edwin Hubble looked at faraway things in space and found out they were actually other galaxies like Andromeda. People had been observing Andromeda for a long time, even back in the 10th century. They saw it as a tiny cloud in the sky. You can actually see Andromeda from Earth without a telescope if you know where to look. It's like a faint, cloudy spot. But in 1612, a scientist named Simone Marius used a telescope to get a closer look at Andromeda. And in 1764, another scientist named Charles Messier gave it a number M31. Scientists kept studying Andromeda, and in 1864, William Huggins looked at its light and found it was different from other things in space. This helped us understand Andromeda better. It turns out Andromeda is really big with lots of stars. Its size makes scientists think it's about 10 billion years old. That's really old. They also think Andromeda formed by smaller objects coming together over a very long time. Before, we thought Andromeda was much bigger than our Milky Way, but now we know they're not so different in size. Andromeda is wider than the Milky Way, like a big circle in space. So, the Andromeda Galaxy has taught us a lot about space, how galaxies form, and our place in the universe. It's amazing what we can learn by looking up at the night sky. This new way of thinking also shows us how hard it is to figure out how heavy galaxies are. Galaxies are huge systems, and their mass is connected to how stars, gas, dust, and dark matter move inside them. Finding out exactly how much they weigh is really tough. It needs special tools and careful studying, which wasn't possible a long time ago. It's only now, with modern technology, that we're learning the real facts. The Andromeda Galaxy has something super interesting in its center, called an Active Galactic Nucleus, or AGN for short. It's a place with a lot of energy. Different kinds of light, like radio waves and X-rays, come from there. The AGN gets its power from a supermassive black hole at the center of the galaxy. These black holes are really heavy and dense, and they pull in a lot of stuff around them. When scientists use special telescopes like the Hubble Space Telescope to look at the AGN, they notice something unique. There are two bright spots instead of one, and the brighter one is a little off to the side. This brighter spot is where the supermassive black hole is. The Andromeda Galaxy is also packed with abundance of globular clusters. These are groups of stars that move around the center of the galaxy, sort of like satellites around a planet. Andromeda has around 460 of these clusters, and each cluster has hundreds of thousands to millions of stars, all the stars in a group formed around the same time. This helps us understand the history of Andromeda and how it has interacted with smaller galaxies over billions of years. It's like Andromeda has been merging with these smaller galaxies. Speaking of merging up, the Andromeda Galaxy might be changing in a really interesting way. It's becoming a different type of galaxy called a ring galaxy. 
These galaxies have a circular or oval-shaped ring of bright, young, blue stars. And the center of the ring doesn't have as many stars. These kinds of galaxies are really rare, and there are different ways they can form. Some happen when two galaxies crash into each other, and others when a smaller galaxy passes through a bigger one. It's like a cosmic collision. And guess what? The Milky Way and Andromeda galaxies are actually moving towards each other, and they're going to crash and merge in the future. People are even calling this future galaxy Milkometer or Milkdromeda. It's a pretty big deal in the astronomy world. The merger of the Milky Way and Andromeda galaxies could have dire consequences for humanity. As the two galaxies get closer, their powerful gravity will distort their shapes, leading to tidal interactions that pull stars, gas, and dust between them. The overlapping of the galaxies will bring chaos and destruction, but this process won't happen all at once. As they collide, a merging process begins. Stars, gas clouds, and dust clouds from both galaxies mix, potentially forming new star clusters and structures in the newly combined galaxy. During this merger, the orbits of stars change dramatically, creating a dynamic and turbulent environment. Some stars might even be ejected from the merged galaxy, while others settle into new, more oval paths. Both galaxies have supermassive black holes at their centers, and these black holes will also merge during the collision, forming an even larger black hole in the new galaxy's heart. This merging process can spark bursts of star formation in places where gas clouds collide and compress, forming new nurseries for young, massive stars. As the galaxies merge, the night sky becomes a dazzling cosmic display with star clusters, shock waves, and bright bursts of radiation. The night sky transforms as new constellations and star patterns emerge. In simple terms, the whole sky changes and becomes entirely new. However, these changes extend beyond the surface. As the Milky Way and Andromeda merge, the powerful cosmic interactions among stars, gas, and dust could trigger significant shifts on Earth. These changes can affect the biosphere, the regions where life exists, potentially disrupting habitats, altering biodiversity, and leading to local extinctions. The galactic collision might disturb the solar system, impacting Earth's climate and weather patterns. Temperature shifts, precipitation changes, and new weather events could emerge worldwide, influencing plant and animal habitats. The altered solar radiation could affect crucial processes for plants and animals, potentially disrupting ecosystems and endangering lives, particularly in the early stages of the merger. Moreover, an increase in intergalactic cosmic radiation might affect Earth's atmosphere, including the ozone layer. These atmospheric changes could further influence climate patterns and have implications for various species' survival. As climates and ecosystems transform, habitats for numerous species might become less suitable or shift entirely.